this is Ritesh Srinivasan and welcome to my channel. There is this new model for text to image called Deep Floyd IF by Deep Floyd and Stability AI. So what is the speciality of this model? So they claim a high degree of photorealism and language understanding. So this model is based on Google Imagen and I'm saying based on, they say it is inspired from Google Imagen. So the kind of architecture they have over here is a text encoder, which is a frozen T5 XSL text encoder, uh, which takes the prompt text as input and generates text embedding. Okay. So from this text prompt, from this text embedding, you have a stage one of IF models, which generate 64 by 64 image. Okay. And uh, these are pixel diffusion modules. Okay, there are three cascaded pixel diffusion modules. First is this base model, which generates 64 by 64 image based on the text prompt. And then you have two super resolution models. Okay, uh, so these, the first one, the first uh, or the second stage, basically after the base stage, generates 256 by 256 image, basically increases the resolution of this image from 64 by 64 into 256 by 256. And then there is this third stage, which increases it to 1024 into 1024 image. Here is this example given. This is a text prompt, a photo of a violet baseball cap with yellow text, deep Floyd better than text. So this is the first stage output, 64 by 64 image. The text embedding is given to all the stages, right? And this 64 by 64 image is cascaded to this particular uh, cascaded diffusion model for 256 by 256 image. The output of this is cascaded to, you know, this super resolution model, which is this final image, which has been generated and the quality looks amazing. Okay. From whatever sample images, which are shown over here, right? The quality is quite amazing. So, uh, so basically this architecture is inspired from Google Imagen. Uh, so for more details, you can check out this paper on Google Imagen, but this is closed source. Okay. Whereas this model claims to be open source, they will be releasing the weights. Currently they have not released the weights. Uh, there are some minimum requirements if you want to use these models. So you require at least 16 GB VRAM. Okay. Or GPU RAM for if one Excel and if two L. So basically to get 256 into 256 image outputs, you require 16 GB VRAM. If you want to scale it, uh, basically get the 1024 into 1024 image, then you require 24 GB VRAM for if one Excel model in the first stage, if two L in the second stage and stable X four in the third stage. Okay. To get this, 1024 into 1024 image, right? So this is the minimum requirement to use this model, but they also have a collab notebook where they explain that how you can run it when say 16 GB or 15 GB of RAM. Um, so you can uh, open up this collab notebook, but the thing is that you cannot run this because uh, you know, to run this, you have to actually accept the license on the model, uh, model card of deep Floyd. So this document is not yet come. The weights have to be released. It has not yet been released. Okay. So you cannot run this, but here they have explained how you can run this, you know, code with say a 16 GB RAM machine. Okay. So for this, what they do is that, uh, you know, uh, your T5, uh, then the IF sticks to image unit, upscaler unit, they have 4.5 billion, 4.3 billion, 1.2 billion parameters. Now uh, they have significantly higher number of parameters, right? But they can still be run on consumer hardware if one optimizes the model for low memory usage. So here they've explained how you can do it. But the thing is that this cannot be currently uh, run. Okay. So once uh, the license is out, maybe I will uh, try to uh, try this particular uh, notebook and see how it runs. Okay. Uh, currently we cannot use it. But there are some examples over here of code of how you can do some things like how you can generate an image based on a prompt, right? Uh, so they have um, some examples over here. For example, how you can, uh, the text to image model is called as dream. 
And if you give a prompt like this ultra close up color photo portrait of rainbow all with deer horns in the woods, uh, these are the images which are generated from that photo, uh, from that prompt, right? Which is ultra close up color photo portrait of rainbow all with deer horns. And these photos look quite amazing. Okay. You can also do zero shot image to image translation. So basically given an input image and a text prompt, you can get an output image. Okay. Uh, so this is like a style uh, transfer mode. The output of the prompt comes out at the style of uh, this particular this thing. Okay. So here uh, the thing, uh, this is the original image and the style prompt could be like in the style of oil art, in the style of professional origami. Uh, so these are the various style arts and based on that you can see different images are generated over here okay from the input image from this input image right so you can do that and then uh, you can run super resolution also they say how you can do that right and some output is generated for the super resolution based on a prompt or an input image basically here it is the prompt the woman with a blue scarf and a blue sweater a detailed picture 4k dslr best quality and you know this is the kind of image which has been generated from the super resolution model okay and here are the various intermediate stages the first 64 by 64 and then 256 by 256 and then this thing okay you can also do zero shot in painting uh, so you have an original image and then you can actually in paint using a prompt right uh, so original prompt is oil art a man in a hat right and then you can do uh, you know this kind of in painting over here right you can remove the hat or this thing right so this is uh, about the various tasks you can perform with this particular model so we have to wait for the weights to be released and then probably we can try out the google collab notebook to see if uh, you know what kind of output comes from this image on our text prompts okay so we can wait for that they have said a hugging face spaces is also available but then it's not up and running currently right uh, even this uh, opens up basically it's not present so it's not up and running so they have just uh, put this page up and uh, they'll probably soon release the weights that's what i understand in a week or two okay uh, so the connection between uh, deep floyd and uh, you know uh, stability AI is that stability AI is uh, basically they have given support providing GPU compute and infrastructure to train the models. Okay. And uh, here they've also acknowledged Leon uh, for the project and will prepare data sets and hugging face teams for optimizing model speed and memory consumption during inference. And then there is a list of contributors and uh, what else do you have over here? So basically the weights will be available soon via the deep Floyd organization at hugging face and it can have its own license basically. So currently it's not there, right? And these are the creators, deep Floyd IF creators. Okay. Research paper is yet to come. It will be available soon. So this seems to be promising currently, but then uh, you can't actually download these weights as of now. So let's wait for the weights to do our own evaluation and see how it performs. But based on some sample images over here, this looks to be really promising. So this is a short video on Deep Floyd IF. I hope you like this video. I'll be putting the link of this uh, repository in the description of the video. You can check it out. See you in another video.